What is up YouTube, Luca here with another PvP build, again with my Stamina Nightblade, but this time with a pure full burst single target gank build. Let's get straight to the build, 5 Titan Bomb on the body, it's a medium armor dungeon set from Ice Reach. You have to drain your HP under 75 or even 50% HP to gain the maximum penetration and the weapon damage bonus. I use the ramp toggle for that, simmering frenzy, but if you prefer a more safe strategy you could also go for spell symmetry. If you don't like to drain your HP, mm, you could even go for spriggans instead of titanborn, it's up to you. Then one crux for extra penetration and the new mythic item Harpuna's Raiding Kilt which gives us over 6% crit and 10% extra crit damage with 10 stacks. And the proc condition is simple, you just have to do direct damage. Every light attack snipe counts as direct damage. Our second 5 set piece bonus on the front bar is Swamp Raider. It gives us 600 weapon damage on all our poison and disease abilities. Lethal Arrow, our spammable, deals poison damage and even our bow ultimate toxic barrage look at the tool tip by the way it's insane also poison damage with full infused weapon damage on jewelry and a swamp raider sharpened bow with the disease glyph on the back bar just a defensive two set crafted set called critical repost to gain extra critical resistance empowered for extra healing quick look on the skills front bar camouflage hunter for minor berserk and major savagery, so 5% extra damage if you flank an enemy and 12% more crit. Silver shards, our second spammable, it eats a good amount of damage, you could even slot poison injection if you want, but the initial hit is a little bit higher on silver shards. Our main spammable, lethal arrow, super powerful in combination with swamp raider. Relentless Focus, which gives us another 10% crit damage with uh, 5 stacks. And you can use Assassin's Scorch after 5 stacks, which needs a good amount of damage too. Shadow Disguise, our Cloak ability, and its ultimate, like I said before, Toxic Barrage. On the back bar, our Hot Vigor, then Simmering Frenzy, the Vamp Toggle, it gives us a ton of weapon damage but drains a ton of HP, so watch out for that. You can deactivate it by using the ability again. Channeled Acceleration for Minor Force, another 12% crit damage bonus, and Major Expedition, Leeching Strikes for Sustain, Rally our Burst Steel, and Soul Siphon as Defensive Ultimate. I'm Wood Elf as Race, Orc or Dama fine too. As Mundus Stone, the Lava Mundus, or even the Shadow Mundus for extra crit damage, it's up to you, but I prefer person to Lava Mundus since I also play on non-CP and our crit rate is kinda low without CPs. As buff food, this one, Candied Jester Coins, it gives us max stamina and Magicka recovery which is needed since we use Shadow Disguise and Channeled Acceleration, both Magicka abilities. Potions, the normal tricep potions with Magicka, Stamina and HP. Quick look on the CPs. Backstabber for 15% extra crit damage if you flank an enemy. Fighting Finesse, another 10% extra crit damage. Then Master at Arms, 10% more direct damage. And Deadly Aim for another 10% more damage on single target abilities. Red CPs, Rejuvenation for sustain. Slippery to automatic CC break, Juggernaut for 10% damage reduction while CC immune, and Ironclad for extra armor. By the way, I am a vamp of course, for the vamp toggle Simming Frenzy, and for the passives like Darkstalker, which ignores the movement speed penalty of Sneak, then Strike from the Shadows for another 300 extra weapon damage. Undeath, which is kinda nice, to reduce our damage taken and execute. Then 
unnatural movement to reduce the cost of sprint and if you continuously sprint for 3 seconds you automatically become invisible. I will demonstrate it really quick. I am sprinting 3 seconds and see ya. It's like I am invisible and I can literally just sprint permanently like that. It's kinda nice. Now with some gameplay footage, but before the gameplay footage starts, quick reminder guys, sub my channel if you like my content, if you want to support me, leave likes and comments below for the algorithm, I would really appreciate it. Now enjoy the Gang Carino playstyle. Here we are again at the end of another PvP build video. Next build will be probably another gang build video, probably with a 2H on the front bar with the ultimate onslaught. I still have to test something, but I'm pretty sure that I will upload another gang build video. Why? It's simple, because I can. And it's really funny out there with uh, full damage burst gang builds. So stay tuned for that and a lot of other stuff. Again, thanks for the support guys and for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. I wish you all a fantastic day. Enjoy this wonderful weather outside and I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Ciao.